Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick demo on how to build an array of lists. This is very analogous to, you know, so the warm-ups and this, the bottleneck frameworks map all. And so hopefully this video will help you get through over some of the uh, sort of annoyances of Java syntax and just some uh, problems that can get in your way. So first let me just run this program. And you can see, like, this is a program that uh, builds an array of lists and then it's going to print them out. And so the first thing it's doing is it's throwing a not yet implemented exception right here on this line, building the array of lists, and we can see that right here. So let's implement this function, this method. And so um, what I'm going to do is the first thing we always try to do is like, all right, so like we take in this int array of values, that's our input, that's the parameter. And we have to return a list of integer, uh, an array of lists of integers. So like, let's go ahead and make our result array. And I'm just going to call this to result for now. And uh, that equals, what I would like to do is say, like a new array of integers of, let's say, values.length. <clears throat> this is the first sort of little bit of annoyance. You can see it's got this error here. It says, cannot create a generic array. And that's pretty much exactly right. You can't create a generic array in uh, Java. There's a long story about that. You can look on the wiki for a point or two uh, why, but essentially you can't. And so like you've got to erase the type. It then says, oh, that then warns you that you now, um, you know, have to uh, you know that you you've thrown away the type um, there's tragically no way to uh, to get around this except to say like all right and that, that's fine uh, let's not uh, deal with that warning and so um, that's the first part of getting through that the next thing that um, I feel like a lot of people have sort of gotten to is people have picked up in this class that um, I'd much rather you just sort of iterate over this array or iterate over a list or whatever and just get the values. Now, um, what's interesting about this is if I do this in this case, I'm left with this, hmm, how do I get the index uh, right here? Because what I want to do is for each one of these values, create a new list and put it in here. And to do that, I've got to get the index. So I think the way to describe this is use the uh, iterating for the for each loop wherever you can, except where you can't. And this is one of those uh, cases where I really do want to say index less than values.length index or plus plus index. You can do it either way, but that's uh, why it's a little better. <clears throat> All right, so now I have my index, and now my value at that index is going to be values sub index. So that should get you past the first uh, problem. Okay, um, is, you know, which index do I want to use? So now what I want you to imagine is we're like, all right, so so for this case, I need to, um, <clears throat> I get that value, and then I'm going to say, like, for int v equals zero, v less than, say, value, plus plus v. I want you to just imagine every number that comes in. So in this case, I'm passing in the numbers 9, 6, 4, and 12. I just want to build up this nonsensical list um, nonsensical list that holds the number 0, 1, 2, 3 for the 4 list. And zero, you know, for the 9 list, it'll be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And for the 6 list, it'll be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up to. So we're just going to, for each one of these things, I want to go into my result array at the index and add V. Okay. And that's good. Everybody's happy. Um, I now have this. Uh, I have to return the result, and this is going to fail. And so if I run this, you'll see, OK, so now I still have a null pointer exception, but now it's here. Uh, this results array at index add of v is broken. And the reason is because, um, let me sort of take this out and see what happens when I print it. You can see that they're all null, right? When you create an array of objects in Java, the initial value is null. If you create an array of ints, their initial value is zero. If you create an, an array of doubles, like lower, like primitive doubles, they're 0.0, .0 and they're just null for Java. And that's just how Java works. It's not a problem, but uh, how we're going to fix this is we're going to say my result at index equals some new, all right, so I want to make a new list, right? And like now it's not an array of lists. It's, it's not a generic array. So I should be able to make a list of integers. That's not a problem. And now it's like, all right, so that can't do it. I can't instantiate type lists. So let's look at what this is. Oh, 
this is an interface, right? Um, and so you can't make directly, uh, you can't make instances of interfaces. I got to choose one of its, you know, implementing classes. So like there's a class link list that implements list. That's perfectly fine to be assignable there. And so now when I run this, it's all working. You can see it's printing out the right values. So hopefully that will help uh, with getting off the ground on MapAll.